This teaches us to fully trust and rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When hardship comes, remember two things, the loss of his wealth and the death of all his children. Yet, despite all these trials, he never complained and continued to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and trusting all his praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Everything happens to us has already been planned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing happens without His permission. And there is always wisdom behind it. During the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the hypocrites and the enemies of Islam would get upset when Muslims were blessed and would be happy when Muslims faced hardship. They would claim that the Muslims didn't take enough precautions. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and teach the believers to say that nothing happens to us except what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already decreed. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, say nothing will happen to us except what Allah has written to us. He is our protector. And in Allah, the believers put their trust. If anything bad happens, only Allah can remove it. As mentioned in the Quran, if Allah afflicts you with hardship, none can remove it except Him. And if He wills good for you, none can stop it. He grants His bounty to whomever He wants. He is the most forgiving and the most merciful. This teaches us to fully trust and rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When hardship comes, remember two things. Have complete faith and trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without any doubt. Second, take necessary precautions. But know that only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can protect us and He is only the one can remove all our difficulties. We all know the story of Prophet Ayyub, peace be upon him. It is a beautiful story of patience and reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet Ayyub was tested with severe illness, the loss of his wealth, and the death of all his children. Yet, despite all these trials, he never complained and continued to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and trusting his wisdom. When his health became extremely poor and his condition worsened, Prophet Ayyub returned to Allah with a heartfelt dua saying, Inni masaniya durru wa anta arhamur rahimin. Indeed, adversity has touched me, and you are the most merciful of the merciful. Out of his mercy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala relieved Prophet Ayyub from his suffering, restored his health, and blessed him with more than what he had lost. This story teaches us that no matter how great our trials are, with patience and reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, relief will come in ways we can't imagine. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him also reminded us of the importance of reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He peace be upon him said, a strong believer is better and more beloved to Allah than the weak believer. But there is good in both. Be keen to do what benefits you. Seek help from Allah. And don't give up. If something bad happens, don't say, if I had done this or that. Instead say, Allah has decreed it. And whatever He wills happens. Because saying if opens the door to the devil. This teaches us to keep working hard, not lose hope. And remember that if things don't go as planned, it's by Allah's will. And He will reward us if we are patient. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, No believer is afflicted with disease, fatigue, sadness, or grief, except that it removes some of their sins. So to protect yourself during difficult times, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, recommended saying, in the name of Allah, with whose name nothing on earth or in heaven can harm, and He is the All-Hearing, the All-Knower. If you say this three times in the morning and three times in the evening, 
you will be protected from the sudden affliction until the next day. And also peace be upon him used to supplicate, اللهم إني أعوذ بك من البرص والجنون والجذام وسيء الأسقاب. Let us conclude with a beautiful dua that the Prophet peace be upon him taught us to say during times of distress, O oh Allah, I am your servant, the son of your servant, the son of your maid servant. My forelock is in your hand. Your command over me is forever executed. And your decree over me is just. I ask you for every name belonging to you, which you have named yourself with, or revealed in your book, or you taught to any of your creation, and you have preserved in the knowledge of the unseen with you, that you make the Quran the life of my heart, and the light of my chest, and a departure for my sorrow, and a release for my anxiety. Remember, time is passing quickly which is a sign of the day of judgment. As life rushes by, know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always in control. Nothing in this world should make us worry, as everything in Allah's hand. So don't overthink or be afraid. Trust in Allah's plan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and remove all the sorrows and the difficulties of the all Muslims. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa